This question is testing an extremely important concept for the SAT, uh, SAT, the idea of a y-intercept. We need to know this. It comes up in lots of places. Here, there's, there's nothing else to the question. We just need to know it. It is where it crosses the y-axis, so that happens right here at 8. So hopefully, that's just obvious then that 0, 8 is the answer. I don't know why someone would pick like negative 8 here. It's positive, clearly. Um, the only thing to keep in mind, maybe, is... <sighs> If they had given us the answer positive 8, 0, I could see some people picking that, especially because it's the first choice. Um, remember, all coordinates are x, comma, y. So don't get anything wrong because you confuse the x and the y. That is really, really important for the SAT, but also very fundamental to how math works, okay? It's like forgetting what addition is, right? You can't uh, do math if you don't know how points and graphs work. So don't make those mistakes. Um, but yes, y-intercepts are going to come up again and again and again. So get comfortable with them, know where to look for them, understand that every time you have a y-intercept, the x-coordinate is zero.